Seven things you need to know about owning a chow. Number one, they are like cats. Chow owners will vouch for the fact that these dogs sometimes act more like cats than cannons. They are independent and they don't really like to be fussed over. If you're looking for a dog that wants to sit on your lap and cuddle, then you should consider a different breed, because you won't usually get a consistent stream of affection from your chow. They cuddle when they feel like it, not necessarily when you want to. Don't let your feelings get hurt over this. It's simply in the nature of this breed, these dogs are also aloof and somewhat reserved when it comes to giving affection. They carry themselves with dignity and know that there's something special. Does this remind you of a cat yet? Chows number two. Chows need company. Just because chows are independent and aloof doesn't mean that they like to be alone. In an ideal world, your chow will have another chow as a companion. If you work outside of the home, your dog will do fine if you spend some time outside. But too much time away from people can result, can result in an antisocial behavior. When you get home, bring him inside of the house with you so he can spend quality time with a special person. He does need to be around you and family members on a consistent basis. Keeping him tied up or confined alone for long periods of time is inhumane. They are socialized with them. He won't respond well to this type of treatment. Chows generally don't get along very well with cats or small dogs. Unless they're socialized with them at an early age. They don't have a pack of mentality and they don't usually get along very well with the bigger dogs or the same sex. But they do need company. It's best to have a consistent pal from the time that they are puppies and lots of time with familiar people. Number three. Betray him once and he will never forget it. Some dogs are so loyal that they'll take a lot of nonsense from their owners and still come back for more. Unlike other breeds, chows are not attention seekers. They're smart, they usually know what's going on, they're usually indifferent to the things that people are doing unless it affects them directly. If you betray a chow through any type of mistreatment, it will remember and you will damage the relationship that you've built with your pet. This includes neglect as well as abuse. A chow may not be an attention seeker most of the time, but it still needs love, affection and attention. After all, they have feelings too, they just don't show it all the time. Number 4. You will never be able to read a chow. This is another peculiarity of the breed that makes them so different. While it is easy to tell if a golden retriever or a cocker spaniel is happy to see you, a chow usually don't register much emotion. Most of them remain extremely aloof in the attitude unless they feel threatened or challenged. Their faces are covered with wrinkly fur that closes in on a set of small and deeply set eyes. This makes it hard to read their expressions. They truly are indifferent to those around them. Unless you're a family member that is close to the dog, grand gestures, such as those seen with the friendlier breeds, are few and far in between. Chows are not attention seekers, and this is the reason their behaviors are not typical. Number five, strangers should be aware. Chows are not necessarily vicious dogs, but they are by nature suspicious to strangers. They are also very territorial. territorial. They have been bred for work as a guard dog, and these treats have carried on for centuries. So they are naturally inclined to be vigilant and protect their families and property from the treat of strangers and would-be intruders. They will put on a fierce front if the owner is not present when a stranger comes around. High intelligent but hard to train, chows are known for being smart dogs. Number 6. High intelligent but hard to train, chows are known for being very smart dogs, but this should not be confused with making them an easy breed to train. In fact, 
it is just the opposite. Chows really don't have much of a desire to please their masters. Sure, they love you, care about you and want to protect you, but when it comes to making you happy, you're on your own. Since they are not inclined to care if their behaviors please you or not, training is more difficult and traditional methods may not work. Maintain dominance and demand obedience for the best result. Number seven, they need regular grooming. Y'all want to get into the habit of regular grooming from the time that Chow is a puppy. The coat is very soft and dense, so it will tangle and mat easily if it isn't brushed on a regular base. You can ease up a little as your Chow mat matures because the adult coat is much easier to care for, but plan on spending at least one hour or two a week. Getting all out of the rough spots, your dog will look better, feel better, they generally shed their coats once, twice a year, so plan on filling a few trash bags during this time. It's best to do the grooming yourself because chows don't usually enjoy going to a professional groomer. They prefer having their favorite, favorite person to do the job. If you want to see more of this kind of videos, please subscribe to the channel.